Guys, we're going to have a good time heading off to the mountains. Nice vacation. Anytime you can get away to section hike the Appalachian Trail, it's always a blast. So for you folks that are camping, happen to live on the East Coast, make sure you get out and give this thing a try. It's really cool. It's a stretch goal. You enjoy yourself and uh, you feel very accomplished when you're all said and done with things. Cheers. All right, guys, for those of you on the AT, everybody knows about this. Get you one of these Appalachian Trail Guides. You can kind of, let me see if I can just jump to the section that we are in. What they do is they give you this elevation profile and it corresponds with different areas. You know, you can see your valleys, your peaks and your mountain ranges and stuff. So it's pretty substantial, it goes anywhere from 3,000 feet down to 2,000 up to 4,000 feet let's see three three two so oh, you get the point um, if you turn it this way it actually shows you where we are we landed we ended our last trip at Unicoi Gap so this is where we're starting 52 miles in so we're gonna hit past all these individual places, Indian Grove, Trey Gap, and we're tonight, when we hit the trail around 11.30, noontime, we'll do about four miles or four or five hours of hiking. We plan to stop at this Trey Mountain Shelter, and you can see on the map, it's got water source, camping source, and an actual shelter. And... Uh, that's basically it. Tomorrow we hit Wolfpin Gap, Steel Trap Gap, all these crazy names, Sassafras, and there are different water sources and camping if you needed to, but we're going to try to, day two is approximately seven miles. We're going to go for a deep gap shelter, no phone signal, and then on the Sunday on day three we'll hit Dix Creek Gap. The whole journey is about 18 miles. So we're gonna put a car here today, to get picked up. T-Dog is back. And his nice beard. That's right. We got A-Train this time. He's been rolling so low, trying to pick up chicks, going rock climbing. You can't be doing boulder climbing, man. We, we, we gotta stay focused here. We're on the AT. <laughs> That's right. We don't blame you. Back. All the young guys need to go after, need to go where the girls are. I don't know how many are on the AT, but. Uh, and who we got here? Big R. Big Rob. <laughs> Last time we saw Big Rob, he had like. You're leaking, dude. A thong what? on, and he we were on a cruise. Now, he's in full winter regalia. We're going Unicoi to. Unicoi to. Dick Creek Gap. Yeah, Dick Creek Gap, yeah, yeah. About 18 miles. All right, we're out of here, guys. More from the trail. About 40 degrees. Feels like the uh, temperature's going down too. Oh, slightly muddy. Things you gotta be careful for are the rocks and the roots. Twist your ankle, aggravate your knee. That's my problem. You ain't supposed to be huffing and puffing when you're only 40 feet in. <laughs> Feel it in my glutes already. Having a good time, eh, man? Yeah, this is the bomb. Like what you expected? Yeah, yeah. Kind of uh, adventuresome? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. No shortage of water. There's water down there. A little snow on the ground. I was surprised to see that. Kind of see the terrain, a lot of little rocks. I was telling you about slippery. 
Oh, that's cool. Make a hole. Rocky Mountain Trail, Blue Blaze, White Blaze. All right. <laughs> hiking about 35 minutes. That's it? Yeah. Oh my. 40, 40 minutes. I like how we keep signing up for pain. Is pain fun? <laughs> it's lovely. The accomplishment is what's fun. It's fun when you're done. Yeah. Because you're like, I finally I did something that was hard. Yeah. But this trail only does one or two things. It goes up and it goes down. That's the only thing it does. And the end, you had to add in around. Yeah. Obviously get something from it, otherwise we wouldn't keep doing it. <laughs> Hiking, camaraderie, get good camaraderie. I don't know if the food's that good. And a lot of times you go, oh, the food's great. Uh, well, you know. Afterwards, to Maybe for weekend trips. Yeah, the food's good at the end. Yeah, that's a good idea. What's that, Rob? Giving me more electrolytes than I could possibly use. Yeah. Well, I think if, if you take too many electrolytes, it'll give you diarrhea, doesn't it? It kind of messes up your appetite a little bit. But no, it doesn't give me, you know, it doesn't mess with me it's like that. Well, these have other things. Yeah, pot magnesium, potassium. All the things your muscles need to. Uh, Amino acids and stuff. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, yeah. Damn. Should have put the brake over here. Yeah, I know. Oh, that messed up. Beautiful that is, oh my god. What mountain is that over there? Well, that looks like Hawksbill or something. I'm not too sure. We're in Georgia right now, right? Yeah, yeah, northern Could Georgia. Like, um, uh, what is that? Who Rock, knows? Rock Mountain or whatever. This is Rocky Mountain here. We're on top of Rocky Mountain. Oh, really? Let me get a picture of y'all. You like it, Aiden? Fun? Yeah. Get a little chilly. Ah, sun's starting to go down now. I'm just hoping to keep from turning into the downhill sloth. Got a real, got my little knee brace on. I tried this Chopat thing. It kind of goes around because everybody swears. A lot of the uh, hikers and people use it, but. You see what we're going up here? What? We're going to be going up that. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Call in the helicopter.
2.7 miles in, Indian Grave. Great. That looks like an awesome camp spot down there too. Where? All this open area down here. I think I hear water. I think there's a creek running right in the middle of it. Just came down that. And I'll never ever let my damn white break here like that again. Your what? Oh. It smells like a damn bait towel. Andrew's Cove Trail. And we're going that way. Did you just get me pissing on video? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. Taking a dump over this log. Oh, Rob. <laughs> That's a good dump log. You just lost some fans. <laughs> Dang. This video just got flagged. I don't know how you'd balance it. I don't even want to know how you'd balance <laughs> All right, moving on. Change of subjects. Zoom in on the hemorrhoid. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's roll. Oh yeah. Oh, we're not stopping? Are we going up that road, guys? Yeah, we're going up Tree Mountain now. Oh. I thought we were going to go eat some goo or something. Oh, you want to goo it? Go yeah, yeah, yeah. we got to have a little energy, a little respite. Respite? I'd much rather be walking up that nice flat road than going up there. We going over? Yep. I'll look at the Delorme and see what we got here. Yeah. I know there's a shelter on the other side of that peak. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so we got to go up. Over a little bit, and the shelter's there. Then we're gonna go down and hope we find a creek. Stay down. We're gonna pass it like a mile or two. Yeah, let's go about two miles. Get some headway. Three. Let's get three if we can. Okay. Yeah, that way that, that knocks off three miles tomorrow. Yeah. So that takes us to just seven. That's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, that way tomorrow it'll be daylight when we set up. Tonight we'll probably be doing a little bit of night hiking. All right. Welcome to the jungle, like you said. Whew. About halfway through day one. Breezy, icy, cold air, but beautiful. Kind of right between wearing a jacket have a couple layers on, fight the warmth. Footing's great. Never really in shape. I am now. I'm not anyways. Knees feel good. Pulls, hiking pulls always help. Huh? I don't know yet. I'm, I'm assuming uh, two miles from Trey Mountain Shelter. Huh? There you go. The shelf is in Trey Mountain Gap. Cool. Yeah, it's coming out of the spring right there. Damn, that's awesome. Yeah, baby. Oh, so, <laughs> so this is like, this road is put there just to tease you. Oh. Drink some water. Yeah, man. Want me to hold your pulse? Yeah. No. Okay. Hook me up my agua. It's on the other side. All right. Big Rob, the sun god. <laughs> I can't believe I lost all our 
our Charleston footage, Edisto footage. You completely lost it? It was edited, it was awesome, it was funny. We had our redneck trolling motor. You know you're a redneck when you're in the water with a John boat and a trolling motor. Dude, it's all gone. What happened to you? Can't, you can't redo it? I was running out of space because I couldn't upload um, from Apple or from Movie Maker. So I had the video. I was trying to save it. And it said couldn't save in high def. So I freed up room. But I went and kind of deleted some of the video <laughs> that feeds into the footage. And it was like unable to play. I was like, oh my God. And I had cleared it already. I had deleted it from deleted footage. So I just did myself in. It just sucked. Uh, and it was great video. It was funny. The wife was in there. She was saying some funny stuff, man. Oh, well. Very similar to last year's footage anyway. All right. What you got, A-Train? You going healthy or is that energy laden? This is both. It's a kind bar. It has dark chocolate, nuts, and sea salt. Only five grams of sugar. 200 calories. All right. I got me some shock blocks. Oh, they're so good. Right there, baby. Rob, what you got? E gel? Mm hmm. You like them? You recommend them? I, I recommend them. All natural? Where do you uh, get them online? Online. Crank Sport, I think, makes them. Crank? Crank Sports. Okay. Yeah. All right, bye. So beautiful. All right. Back to the journey. How many hours were we into this, Amen? Um, we're about, uh, I think, three hours. Three hours in? 15 minutes. 3 15. Yeah. Starting to get a little sore, but feeling good. The, this terrain is pretty good flat with mild rocks so i like you know this ridge is cold the wind is coming up and it's nice and cool but you can make up your time and you know from the ascents or the descents trade gap yeah baby that's what i'm talking about so Trey Gap Mountain, and then what do we do? Descent? Yeah, yeah, we descent, and then we would get to the shelter. We're going to try to... Original plan was to stop at the shelter, but we miscalculated. It's two. Our, this journey is... It's Friday, so we're going to go Friday night, Saturday night, leave Sunday. So when we looked at it, there are two shelters between here we don't necessarily sleep in the shelters we sleep around them but uh this tray gap shelter the first one is uh too close so we're gonna have too much mileage here so we're gonna go past it i think i showed it earlier there's a place called sassafras we're gonna see if we can make it that far it has a water source and it's about 4 4 30 so we're gonna beat the uh try to time everything just right so I have a try to set up camp oh wow that would work oh yeah is that what this spot is for yeah. big mud pit Onward! Turn over. Starting to get a little brisk and chilly. Wow. 
What you doing, Rob? Oh, dang, man, I'm filming. Rob, that ain't green. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like a morbid yellow. <laughs> oh, Lord. You messed up my shot, man. Finally got some scenic beauty here. Big Rob had to mark his territory. Real snow here. All right, we teleported into the Swiss Alps. <laughs> Look at that. That's a good, good little bit. We weren't expecting that, right, T-Dog? Nope. Oh, it's a little bit, it's actually slushy. Oh. You can sled down the mountain, Big Rock. <laughs> yeah. I gotta put this camera down and get my poles back out. Look at that beautiful view out there. All right, you know, we're probably about 4,000 feet up. Uh, yeah. Hey, Big Rob, you didn't say we were doing Mount Everest and crap. <laughs> uh. Well, it makes you feel better. This is the tallest mountain. Just once we finish this. Yeah? It's all pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, out of the range, out of this section, it's awesome. Look at this, guys. Oh, damn. All right, what's the name of this mountain? Trey Mountain. Trey Mountain. Look at this. And a little, oh my God. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. Look how far you can see. Hopefully it comes in clear. It's kind of bright for me. Look at that. Oh man. It's a pretty tall peak here. What a wonderful thing. That's what it's all about, man. Beautiful. Kind of like being an explorer or something, being up here. On that backside. I mean, we do have Jacques Cousteau right here with us. Let's see that. Let me see some Jacques Cousteau ness. Big Rob. Uh, I can't mess with Big Rob. He's like, <laughs> please, not right now. <laughs> I, might have, I might have all kinds of shit hanging out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Look how beautiful that is, guys. Oh, wow. It looks nice There's like a valley there. down there. Dang. That is so awesome. All right, we're going the right way. Got a little blaze. Oh, all right. I feel like we've summited. Hopefully there's nothing higher than this. No, this is it. This is as high as we go. Okay. Oh. Actually, believe it or not, it gets a little easier. Easier is nice. I don't care. A few ups and downs, you know, but nothing like when we just went up. Okay. Well, it's all downhill from here, so next stop is. We got some potential ass busting. Uh, oh, that's gonna be really slippery. We made it. 
That was brutal. Should we just keep booking down the trail then? Or you want to see the shelter? Well, it doesn't matter to me. When we want to pass, let's just keep on going down. All right. And that's your view of the shelter. <laughs> Where is it? You have to Google it. Oh, okay. No, we don't want to waste energy and go down that way, so we're going to... Let's go and see how far we can get, because we're at the point now where we can start making some miles to save us time tomorrow. Yeah. Alright, let's take a goo break. Goo break. Goo, goo break. break. Oh, goo break. Alright, we're at uh, Steel Gap. Let's get a... Uh, Thirty degrees. I'm rolling without a tarp. Got my sock on. Nice and insulated. No rain, so that's why I'm doing that. There's a train setting up his setup in porch mode. Still fiddling with it. What you doing, hey man? Uh, just um, got some ropes uh, tangled up. Oh, okay. I got it now. You need help? I think I got it, but okay. I'll let you know if I do. All right. Thanks. Yep. Okay. Other guys here with their hammocks. <laughs> These guys are here. They got their tents. Looks like fly still down there. Big Rob and T Dog down there on that side. Any widow makers? Certainly hope not. There's a man. What's the name of your hammock? This is the war bonnet. The war bonnet with that bear burrito. So it's cold out here. He's trying to batten down the hatches. But he's all, when you have a lot of complicated pieces, you have tangles and all that kind of stuff. So he's fiddling with it. I've been out here for like 15 minutes now trying to get this. It's between me and it. dinner. Yeah. I'm waiting on a man. It's just been like a whole season since the last time I I went hammocking and he's rusty. I didn't, I didn't break this out, so it's, it's my fault. But once oh, I get the snot out, I think we can. That's not a big deal, man. We'll get through it. Got his new poles that he got for Christmas. Those black diamond alpine poles, those are the bomb, guys. Yeah. If you don't have those, the carbon fibers, you need to get some. Because yeah, if you fall when you're hiking, a lot of bad stuff could potentially happen so oh, yeah these guys basically guarantee that you'll never fall and then it, it just makes hiking a little bit more comfortable yeah and they're light it's not like carrying a stick like you I used to think these hiking poles would be too heavy but no and you want core candles too not rubber day now hey man give me some success here you might need to do a time-lapse video for this <laughs> <laughs> oh it's uh better than buying a new one drop yeah. their wing though. they're not expensive though 40 45 dollars <laughs> i don't think they're that <laughs> much anymore yeah i looked because i was going to replace it oh did you nah ain't that hot do you sharpen the saw blade too I never sharpened it yet i don't know could probably pretty easily with What's up? Jagged tooth thing. I don't know if you can sharpen those too easy. Yeah. Come here, good. You get the right tools for it, you can't. Sharpen each tooth by file them with a <laughs> chainsaw file if you did it carefully. You got some fire over by your feet there, Travis. Oh. That would uh, probably go right through these down to these. Be problematic. Beat that on. Heck yeah. Uh, it's only, yeah. yeah. only a one man purse. Yeah. Yeah. They don't weigh hardly anything. We'd all be starving. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Here's my one yeah. little meal. Fire was great. Day one. Just get ready to go to sleep.
I'm in a group of other uh, seven other guys, so there's ten of us, or yeah, ten all together. So that's kind of cool. Have a good one. About to hit some Z's.